hey, hey, another one of the videos on the uh, making of story design. That's what this uh, video series is. And I'm excited about it because just to give some context, Walt Disney, the famous, of course, creator and animator and now empire, right? But at the time when he first started, he would uh, do a weekly, believe it or not, television show about his creative process. And his competition was like, why is he doing this? Well, it turns out he was doing it because he knew deep in his spirit and with respect to the privilege he had in this country that he wasn't going nowhere, regardless, right, of uh, competition or whatever. He knew that he could talk about how he created and didn't worry about it. Well, I don't have the kind of privilege that Disney had, but I have agency and privilege now, here and now, 2024. And I'm not worried about the competition. Matter of fact, I'm into creating, not competition. That's a whole other conversation. So let me start by saying that a series of shows happened in the 90s, of course, and in the 2000s, the early 2000s, that really helped to shape how I see working with large-scale events, small-scale events, you name it, medium size. One of the large-scale events that I had the privilege to help create and be on the creative team in a very significant way was a piece called The Dance of Life. Uh, the Dow Chemical Company was doing a huge merger in New York City, big. Uh, and I was contacted by Ketchum Productions to be the creative director of this big merger day that we're gonna have a, a celebration on Broad Street down at the uh, Stock Exchange. They were gonna ring the bell in the Stock Exchange, make the announcement of the merger, and then they were gonna direct people to Broad Street to see a performance of a, a dance piece called Dance of Life. And so I was asked to hire dancers from the New York area. I hired Sh uh, Cheryl Pollard Thomas to be the choreographer. And then I hired a couple of dance companies that I knew, modern and so on, to do the different sections. And the imagery of the uh, piece would be this huge screen. We were gonna use the jumbotron that Tina Turner was using for her, uh, her concert tour and also her stage. So if you know anything about Tina Turner's tours back then, she had these stages that were half the size of a football field, right? And then her jumbotron screens, the aspect ratio was about the same, huge. We're talking huge screen. So we were gonna have these images playing behind us while 30 dancers performed different sections of the Dance of Life. The soundtrack for the song, for the uh, piece, was uh, somewhat of a Lion King-esque kind of thing. And it, it had this big sound. The images were of all over the world, Africa, Europe, America, people uh, living life, smiling, loving, uh, nature, all of that, water, you name it. And it was uh, to celebrate this merger. So I'm gonna show you now the video that was gonna play on this huge Jumbotron screen called The Dance of Life. I won't show you the whole thing, then I'll come back to wrapping up what this series is about with respect to story design and the performing and media arts.
that was and what will be. The sun will rise, the sun will rise. So you could see how much energy was in this piece. We had a ball uh, rehearsing in Manhattan with all these dancers. It was about 30 people that we had uh, that were gonna be on the stage. But the images with the dance, with that music, that Lion King-esque kind of music, had this energy in it. And those rehearsals, when we left rehearsal, all I can say is that the energy was infectious. There was a whole lot of power that came from uh, those rehearsals. Now the merger was uh, held up. We didn't get a chance to do this major performance, but we spent about six months back and forth in New York rehearsing and getting ready and costumes. And uh, I had hired, uh, as I said, Cheryl Thomas, Cheryl Pillard Thomas to do the choreography. And she at that point was now living in Boston. So we were able to talk about some of the things that we were seeing on our way back and to New York on the train, we were able to really share notes and be specific about what was needed to make this piece powerful. Merger of African, modern, and what we call pedestrian kind of, you know, movements. It was just powerful. So uh, I want to say that with respect to story design, what we looked at was the narrative of the music, the narrative of the video, and then what the merger was all about. Dance of life, celebrating the human element of life. That's what Dow Chemical was doing at the time because they had a reputation for making Agent Orange and all that kind of stuff for the wars. So of course, coming out the gate with something to help humanity was what this was about. So that's it for this version of Wyatt Jackson Story Design, the Story Design series. Talk with you soon.